All right, hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Cyberpunk 2077 on the Xbox One S. And uh, yeah, we got a new outfit there, a new shirt in the last battle, just trying it on there, a little camo. And uh, looks like there's a car for sale out here nearby where we uh, just fought some bad guys. We're basically still, we're on track to do the main quest and to finish stuff we got a big date planned with a rogue and we got to pose as johnny for that but before we do that uh we have a few things to take care of along the way a few little side quests and stuff like that and you know these little street crimes look at that that's a good shot uh, i like the lighting in this game man it, it looks pretty good even on xbox uh one s definitely a little better you know on a PC and other consoles but uh, lighting I think is pretty good all right just getting a little swoop of the situation there now when I'm playing the game it I, I'm actually playing the radio it just doesn't record it on the Xbox uh, DVR so it's a little weird sometimes I'll do the cinematic sweeps there and it's in time with the music but you know you guys don't even see that all right, so we got an undiscovered situation up here. Who knows what we're going to find right up the road. And, uh, oh, my God, where the heck did that car come from? I thought there was a bunch of parked cars up here. And someone just is fleeing the scene of this crime or whatever it is. Oh, it's Cyber Psycho. All right, well, we've done a ton of these. I only think, I think we only have a few of them left. See what's going on exactly. Regina here is uh, trying to research these cyber psychos. Now, something glitches out in their cyberware, makes them go crazy, you know, kill a few people. Hey, they might not be bad people, though. They just had, like, a, uh, you know, brain crash or whatever. So, uh, basically, what we have to do is capture them alive, which is uh, easier said than done, <laughs> you know. But we used to have a uh, non-lethal gun, but I think it had like some type of flame or other power on it too that was lethal. <laughs> so we got yelled at a few times, uh, not just by Regina, but by these monks who uh, wanted us to keep it peaceful, like way early game. Oh crap, I just jumped on a freaking flaming car there, <laughs> trying to get a little high ground. Um, no big deal. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, so we got to search the area. Now, usually what happens is you can't see them until you're right next to them. They jump out and uh, scare you. All right, let's see where they are here. Let's see what we got. Man, I love the music in this game. Look at how it's just so simple right now and suspenseful. But it's going to kick into high gear once this guy jumps out or, or female. Forget what Regina said. Oh, there we go. All right, we got spotted. Uh, we didn't really spot them. Now, that could be a cam somewhere, too. Sometimes that happens, but, uh... All right, when we get spotted, it sends us into, like, a little slow motion there for a minute so we can adjust and hide or shoot, <laughs> depending on uh, the situation. All right, there we go. We got a Valentino over there. And so what we're going to do is a little cyberware malfunction here, see what happens uh, to their cyberware. All right. We don't know if this is the cyber psycho or someone else though but what we do is we do system reset all right they did nerf this in a patch i played this uh, actually way at the beginning of the year and i'm just still going over this footage and so they did patch this so it's not as uh, effective there and honestly using this in a regular fight it definitely feels like cheating but in this situation i mean yeah i it, i didn't it wasn't much of a challenge here but to me this is immersive because Hey, what do you do? Your computer's got a freaking virus. What's the first thing you do? You turn it the frick off and you bring it to the, the specialist and that's Regina. So we turned it off and now we gotta, you know, bring this guy in or she'll come pick him up or whatever. All right, so we got the uh, information here. You guys can read this. I'm not reading it out loud, but that's what happened to the person. And, um, and that's it. All right, so, you know, 
like it wasn't super exciting or anything. I did like the suspense of it, but I honestly I don't even care at this point. Because uh hey, we just leveled up too. We're almost at the end of the game, guys. You know, I I, I only have a few more of these left. I want to get them done. There was too many of them anyway. And uh, they were some of the more interesting uh, quest lines in the game, but it is what it is. I mean, once I settled on that little trick to turn them off, I just kept doing it. Uh, a few of them uh, resist it, but uh, mostly I've done that for the last five or, or more of these guys. So, hey, it is what it is. Again, if the non-lethal thing made more sense, like I figured it out after the fact... That my gun was doing this extra you know the, 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 they all have different damage like there's thermal and there's a, i don't even know what the other ones are but some catch them on fire some of them poison them well we poisoned the guy or caught him on fire or something i think it was poison and then over time it killed them so it, i didn't realize because the gun says non-lethal like the bullets are non-lethal but it had this additional effect so it took me the whole game to realize that so i settled on this and uh now i realize all right all right, wait a second. Uh, I guess we did kill the guy. This is what I'm saying. How the heck did I even kill this guy? Um, I don't think the cyberware malfunction should have killed him. And then maybe I did the wrong thing, honestly. Like, there's two. One turns him off, and then one actually turns him off, like she kills him. And I actually might have gotten the two hacks confused there. I, we're going to load the game back up because we do not want to disappoint Regina here and... Uh, after all that, uh, it ended up being a little harder than I thought. All right, we're going to take it back up to the top here and uh, do this again. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh. This is weird. All right, now we got Regina hey, calling again. The north side just erupted, and apparently it's got Maelstromers hauling ass out of there. See what's going on exactly, and let me know. All right, let me double check here what the heck we're doing. Cyber, not that. Contagion, Synapse Burnout. Is that what I did? Synapse Burnout? No, System Reset. Huh. I think I did System Reset, right? That should be alright. Okay, I figured it out. If you look at cyberware malfunction, it says it causes a random th something to explode after it's done. And that's why it specifically said that something about the, the, the cyberware in the text to uh, Regina there. So who the heck knew that was going to do that? I, I mean, I'm just like cyberware malfunction. I want to shut down so they don't hack me because she said it was going to be Maelstrom, right? Those guys are always hacking you. So that's why I went in with that, even though the guy ended up being Valentino. I, you know, this is why I just try to shut them down, man. It, it's just too confusing trying to do this non-lethal thing. There's always this additional effect that you don't even know is going to happen. And then, so we blew, after we just shut him down, a, the other thing took effect and blew his brain out. I, who the heck knows? All right. So we're just going to do it this way. Nice and easy. And uh, hopefully this will be good enough for Regina. Man, that is just, you know, I, I'm not, I'm not like frustrated or anything, but like hurts my brain trying to figure this out and just uh, there's, it's, everything's so complicated. All right. When they're still moving around like that, they're probably OK, right? All right. So here's the uh, farewell shard. And uh, now we can uh, report this to Regina. So I'll let you guys read that a little linger on there for a little longer this time. All right, let 
Let's see. It's so hard to find this, too. Good thing I still had a little self-control. <laughs> I, I had plenty of self-control the first time. <laughs> I just didn't realize that the the uh, cyber whatever the frick hack uh, did some extra damage like that. All right. Well, you learn something new every day, right? And again, who the heck even knew this at the time? Like, I guess I figured it out at the time, too. But, uh, geez, Louise, man. It took me months to learn how to shut these guys down non-lethally. All right, so this is the uh, Regina's take on the whole thing. And there we go. Now we leveled up finally. <laughs> All right, 46. Wow, we're almost at 50. And I'll tell you right now, we hit 50 right during the final mission, right at the end of the game. It's like we don't even hit 51. You know, you can't get 51, but we wouldn't have hit it anyway. Like I did with the uh, street cred. I've had 50 street cred since uh, my level was at 25, man. I've done a lot of these street crimes. All right, let's get out of here. And uh, I don't think we're going to be meeting Hanukkah right now, but uh, it defaults back to the main quest whenever we uh, whenever we finish up a quest. All right, let's see what else we got in the area. We got an undiscovered. Who knows what we're going to find right around the corner. We got that. All right, we got a bunch of stuff. Right in the immediate area here. Now, I did clear out most of the quests throughout the map. There's just little pockets of them here and there. Uh, a lot of times, all right, what happened in this game is the areas are leveled uh, differently, right? So at the beginning of the game, there's some, level, some areas that are considered very hard areas, right? And... Honestly, it's not like the worst fight, but I went into some of those areas and it literally takes like a hundred plus bullets Like you'll do 1% damage or less every bullet and you know, it's just annoying after a while um, Trying to pick these guys off when you're doing that little damage So as the game progressed it lowers them down to medium and then they might all be, be easy at this point It kind of does a little too overdoes it a little bit um so anyway, now I'm, you know, clearing out those areas that I skipped before or didn't go through because they were super hard at a certain point in the game. I don't know if this area in particular is one of those areas, but in general, that is what I'm doing a lot of the time when there's like a cluster of these uh, missions, you know, street missions or these who knows type of missions here. Undiscovered. Another Regina okay. one here. Quick gig. Maelstrom clept a Malorian van. They're holding it in one of their hideouts. Address I attached. Go there and nab the shard from that van. Other words, you're clepping from the clepers. Clepping from the clepers. Need more info? Scan the attachment. Oh, all right. I like how we can just double jump up top here, get a little high ground. And let's see what we can do. Got the pistol back out. I switched back to the AR earlier, but... Oh, this is, um... Is this River's gun? I don't think it's Johnny's gun. Johnny's gun does a little different reload animation than that. Alright, someone just caught me on fire. That's not very nice of them. I'm, like, blindly shooting here. Hoping for some aim assist. This is not a good long-range weapon for me. I do not have the accuracy I need for this thing. We missed every shot. All right, we're gonna might have to do some hacking here, or I might have to get out the big gun. All right, we're trying a different sniper than I usually use, and this one I forget which one this is. We got a few on quest items, and uh, I mostly use just the normal one that I found because I like the action on it. Because it charges and like it felt cool like charging it up. These all shoot through walls, by the way. Almost every sniper I've tried shoots through the walls. And other guns do too. A little OP. Alright, these guys have got me cornered here. Alright, let's reload. Hey, watch it. Oh, 
I'm missing every shot. This is the, like not cool. I might have to get the AR out, man. Or the sniper. Oh, that guy's so far away. There we go. All right. Not that bad when you get the sniper out. All right. Finally. Why are some of them yellow? All right, I don't even understand, man. Some had the red and some had the yellow. Even it one hit shot on that, on that one. Oh my God, I don't know even know why I'm using this gun. I just like to make it a little more difficult. It got a little too easy with the, the overpowered hacking. You can see I could just melt them all like I did that cyber cycle if I wanted to, and they wouldn't be able to do anything. And those other uh, hacks are even more powerful. That one's not even the most powerful one, just turning them off. Because some, it does damage on multiple people, you know, or they turn them against each other. That was a good snipe, though. I didn't have, even have to shoot through the wall on that one. Alright. There's got to be more enemies because the music's still on. I think. Put that in friendly mode. Yep, there's definitely more. They're yelling at me. We'll go back up top. Now, I didn't ping him or it didn't last long enough. So I don't know where the heck this guy is. And sometimes they get stuck, they don't come out. Uh, the NPCs are not that that great in this game, honestly. Uh, we'll just go in. It's gotta be some inside, right? Yeah, there's one in here for sure. All right, we got them. All right, ping, nice. Oh, a little lag. Oh, we got an SMG. This is a weird loadout, man. I don't know how the heck I picked this loadout. I don't even have a shoddy. Usually I do AR, shoddy, and sniper, but I, I'm just trying out different weapons sometimes, so. Caught this one on fire. Jumped over them. Oh, they're dead. All right. And our handguns went up. And there's someone up there, but they're not a threat. Looks like they're uh, in Cyberville there. All right, that's on friendly mode. All right, that wasn't too bad. A terrible, terrible aim with that pistol, but besides that, we're doing okay. Handguns just not my thing. In any game, I don't really use them that much. I don't know. But I like to try different stuff out. Oh, we just have to leave the area. But I'm kind of curious about that person up there. Oh, we're, we're leveling everything up here. Man, we can't go in there. Just the storeroom. All right, let's go upstairs. Nothing over there. Oh, they're not, they're just sitting here. I thought for sure they'd have the, you know, the visor on or whatever the heck, the headset on and be in a virtual land. But I guess not. <laughs> they knew we were there. None of the shots, they, 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 I guess the people get shot all the time around here. It's not a big deal, right? Well, oh, finally can hear some of the music in the background on the uh, boombox. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, we just have to drop it over here. We'll do a little looting on the way. Let's get the bike though. It's right around the corner, but. the data bank dropping it off and another job well done i hope see what i mean about the radio now, now they got the talk radio on so we got the uh, subtitles a uh, little commercial break or whatever news break and then you still don't hear it it's 
kind of weird. All right, what's up, Thanks Regina? Thanks for the shard. Sure, it'll come in handy. Gig closed. All right, another job well done for Regina. And let's see what else we got around here. We know we got a vehicle for sale. And we got a thievery job up there. All right. You can see it's pretty sparse, man. Back at the beginning of the middle of the game, that was so dense with these type of things that you couldn't even go anywhere without seeing one. But let's see what's up here. Oh man, hey, there's not even too many obstacles and I still hit them. Oh yeah, oh that was a nice little skid there. How the heck do I get in here though? Gotta go this way. Now we should park down the block. Sometimes I just go in right on top of them. Get a little too close, but try to get a good balance here. All right, I don't think they even see us out here, man. Our stealth is so good. They don't even know we're here still. Uh, another Regina one. We're in her territory now. Got a gig for you. One I'd rather not have. Uh-oh. Bryce Stone, preacher on TV. His son was brutally murdered. Oof. Only way to catch this child killer is to get your hands on the original BD that recorded the whole thing. Okay, well, yeah, we don't want to watch that. You heard that right, unfortunately. More info attached. All right, so we're stealing something. Hopefully, we don't have to be stealthy about this. Because we're not very good at that. So someone released this like a, you know, what they can do is they can record a BD is like a brain dance. They can record their brain and then it feels like you're in that situation. That's what I thought the other guy upstairs was doing a brain dance, right? Well, these guys released it. And uh, so we got to find the original here. I don't know what I don't know what the original does when the copy's already in circulation, but we still got to get it. I guess there's more clues on it or something. Let's do a little ping so we know what we're dealing with. I'm trying not to hack as much, but I don't know. Sometimes I'll go back to it. I should go back to it on this one, but we're just doing a critical headshot on that one right up close and personal and get the party started. We got like, what, seven, eight guys, six, seven guys here. Oh, nice little SMG action, a little fire. All right, it's party time. We got four of them clustered together right there. That wasn't too good. Hey, you trying to get me killed? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, that's the idea. Oh, we're not doing good at all here. I, I shot the pole more than I shot that guy. I'm trying to take a little cover there. It uh, looked like it covered me from shooting them. All right, we still got a clump of them up here. Still got six of them up there. Let's just shoot that one right through the dumpster here. A little OP. What are you going to do? Oh, that's a nice shoddy. Is that one still alive? <laughs> They're just squirming like a chicken with a head. Chopped off. Oh, our ping expired. That's not good. Well, they're all up there. Usually with the other sniper, I can see the outline of them even if I, I didn't ping them. But I guess not with that one. Maybe we can throw a grenade up there. Take a few of them out. Oh, that, that was bad. I, I threw that while I was moving. It's stuck right there. Almost got myself with that one. Oh yeah, hit, that one hit the fence. All right, we're not doing too well with this. I gotta throw it over the fence. 
Oh, we can get high ground here. Or not high ground, but higher. Level ground with them. Alright. That's not bad, because then we can just drop down. They can't shoot us. I really need to ping them. I don't think I can jump over the barbed wire. Oh, wow. I, I'm surprised I got that one. There's another crit. <laughs> Not bad. A little better than the last fight. Where'd this one go? Oh, there you are. Oh, that hurt. And our assault went up. Man, we're leveling everything up this episode. Oh, a nice little jump so I don't have to climb the stairs. And that was it. Oh, no, we got what a cam over here. All right. All right. That wasn't too bad. Now we gotta find it. Studio? What the frick? Anyone else here? Alright, well, we gotta do a little looting on the way, too. Oh, someone's here. Alright, there are still more, some more, some people more. Some more people. Oh my god, I'm tongue tied today, guys. Usually when the music stops, that means the battle's over, but in this case, it was like another area and the battle started up again. I don't know who's even shooting at me, honestly. But we're in a warehouse. We gotta get the stuff. We can get them on the way out. No big deal. Grab a little loot. Anyone in here? Cut. Right there. Oh, there's someone. <gasps> Oh, they're doing the brain dance. Well, we're not even asking questions, man. They, they might be victims or just trying it out, but we just headshot both of them. That was pretty good shooting, guys. I mean, they weren't really fighting back or anything, but I mean, with my aim, I'm impressed, you know? That's better than I usually do. All right, we got to find the uh, Xbox uh, D recording. <laughs> I think we got it. No, maybe not. I don't know why I took that stuff. I'm just grabbing everything. All right, maybe it's in here. Files. Um, this has something to do with it. How can't those? Oh, well, that's not what we're looking for. Oh, it's right here. Can I grab that? I gotta stand up. There we go. Usually when you got the outline like that of the area on a mini map, like it was just all yellow, it doesn't tell you exactly where it is, but I guess since that was one of these BD tapes, it always marks those, so. All right, looks like we've been spotted up here and we gotta deal with the enemies on our way below. Got one down there. Can we get them? There you got two of them. Oh! That's how you do it, guys. Just snipe them through the floor. Headshots. No big deal. Yeah, that's how we do it. That's why V is the greatest merc in the whole history of Night City. And, uh, well, we maybe get a little sloppy sometimes. But uh, what are you going to do? What the heck is that? A turret? Oh, we didn't, they didn't see the turret coming. That's for sure. Let's put that in friendly mode, though. Again, no big deal. You can't fight me for too long. Let's turn that off. Anyone else? Do we have time to loot, or can we... We're gonna get interrupted again. There it is. Nothing that great. Bulletproof vest. I'm not gonna wear that. Old taco. The food in this game is uh, pretty useless, honestly. I, maybe there's some buffs you can get from it. I never really used it too much. Definitely seems like it wasn't fully fleshed out or anything. There's another guy. You know, that. you know, we're not even hiding. We're just looting. 
Here's the one that can't hide is you. Oh, we lost our ping. Oh my god. I, I, I had the shot. They started moving and I lost my ping and now we gotta deal with them. We can be friends? You don't know who you're dealing with. I just killed everyone in this freaking building. Is that another turret? <laughs> Critical headshot. You gotta love it. All right, how many times is music gonna start back up again? All right, turrets down. It's not that hard to shoot that at this point. Let's do a little more looting and then we'll get out of here. The music is still a little tense, like it could pick up again. Oh, well, there goes the pressure. I'm still wary, man. This music is super suspenseful. And I don't know which areas I was in and which ones I wasn't at this point. I guess I was in this one. I'm carrying too much. All right, we're gonna have to unencumber ourselves, which is pretty easy to do. Oh my god, look at that! We blew our head. What the heck was that? Is that wires coming out of our head? I I can't even figure that. Or that was that their spine? Man, someone did a lot of damage down here. I guess it was us. All right, so we gotta sort through all this stuff. But we'll probably maybe do it all off camera. That's basically going to be it. We got we got to go to the drop point, though. But here's the thing. One one other good thing. We can scrap stuff. It's really easy to deal with being over encumbered in this game because you can scrap it. But you can also just drive with all the stuff and it doesn't slow you down. Like you, it slows you down walking, but we can just drive. So uh, that's a pretty cool way to deal with uh, being over encumbered is take off and we can just drop the stuff off and then do the other stuff off cam. So we're going to hit the drip. Wait, that's not the drop point. That's what fast travel point. And there's the drop point. All right, we're going to drop this off, and that's going to be it for this episode. So thanks for watching Cyberpunk 2077 on the Xbox One S. And we'll see you next time.